Hello, and welcome to the High School of Art and Design Film Department. My name is Mr. Harkel, and I am one of the three film teachers at Art and Design. Together with my colleagues, Mr. Agbamenu and Mr. Lopez, we've created the premier high school film program in New York City. For eight out of the past nine years, our students have won first prize in the citywide graphic arts competitions, student filmmaker competition. In many of those years, our students swept the competition winning first prize, second prize, and third prize. But that's just in the city. ABC Disney's Get Real With Your Dreams competition, hosted by Chade Barrenois, is a tri-state competition. And in 2018, we won ninth place, seventh place, sixth place, fourth place, second place, and first place in the competition for a total of $34,000. In 2019, we won seventh place, fifth place, fourth place, and first place. The first place winners, as you can see, divided $12,000 amongst themselves. As a matter of fact, to date, our film department has won over $190,000 in prizes for films that the students have written, filmed, and edited. But the competitions are not why we are the number one film department. We also have the largest internship department in the city. Our students work with HBO, Tribeca Film Institute, Apollo Theater, Tony Bennett Exploring the Arts, Maisel's Institute, Museum of the Moving Image, Real Works, where students edit for Showtime, and so many more. These organizations are partnering with us because they realize that our students know what they are doing and are trained to industry standards. When students participate in internships, they are receiving industry experience that is preparing them for the real world and they are forming connections. As a matter of fact, students who interned from our school at the Apollo Theater and the Museum of the Moving Image, for example, later were offered jobs there. I cannot stress the importance of internships, and at our school, we have our very own dedicated internship coordinator, which is one of the many reasons why we have the largest internship program in the city. But the awards and the internships alone are not why we are number one. Our film program is also CTE certified by the state of New York. CTE stands for Career and Technical Education. And in order to receive CTE certification, the state of New York reviews our program from top to bottom and actually comes in for three days to meticulously examine our curriculum page by page, look at our equipment, the resources we offer, the internships we offer, the student work, they talk to students, and you only receive CTE certification if the state of New York is convinced that your program will actually prepare students for a career in the industry. By completing our program, you are ready for a career in the filmmaking industry, which leads me to our curriculum, the heart of our film program. When I wrote the curriculum, I combined college-level film theory with industry standard vocational film production instruction. It is project-based and comprehensive, covering all aspects of pre-production, production, and post-production. So let's jump into what students learn in our program. Freshman year, all students have a foundational arts program that introduces them to the elements of design and other foundational art skills that every artist needs to have. Students who are interested in film can take a foundation class that incorporates filmmaking elements as they learn their foundational art skills. In their sophomore year, filmmakers learn all the basics of pre-production, production, and post-production by producing five or more films from beginning to end. Students learn the digital video camera, the tripod, professional shotgun microphones, and lights. Everything is project-based and hands-on. As a matter of fact, you get to hold the video camera and film with it on the very first day of sophomore film class. Students work in small groups to write and produce the films, and in the process, they learn storyboarding, how to create a shot list and ground plan, the basic structure of storytelling and all aspects of pre-production. Um, and students also learn production, the language of visual storytelling, including shots and camera angles, and the purpose and function of every single shot that they're using, how to film it, and more importantly, why it's used, as well as the fundamentals of shot-to-shot -shot continuity. After shooting all of the footage, every student in the small group gets their own individual computer on which they create their own edit of the footage that they just shot in their group. So this means that even if the film was written and shot by five students, 
The result is five different individual edits, so each student has their own unique voice to the film. All the editing is done on Adobe Premiere Pro, which is the current industry standard for nonlinear editing software amongst independent filmmakers. And again, everything they learn is applied in the process of creating a film. Every student has produced at least five films from beginning to end, including a product commercial, a music video, a public service announcement, and several continuity narrative films that focus on shot-to-shot -shot continuity. Here is a sample of a sophomore film. It's a continuity film. And please pay attention to the choice of shots. Every shot is intentionally chosen by the student and has a purpose and function. And also notice the continuity, how one shot flows into the next. The prompt for this film that you're about to see is somebody lost something and they found it. Somebody lost something and they found it. Here's what one group of five sophomore students came up with for that prompt. Enjoy. By the time junior year rolls around, students think, I already know everything. I've completed five films, sophomore year from beginning to end. Well, that's where the fun really begins. Junior year, we have double periods for film, which allows students to learn a more advanced camera, the DSLR camera, which allows us to film in manual mode, adjusting shutter speed, ISO, aperture, and depth of field. This expands our possibilities as filmmakers infinitely. Students also learn junior year mise-en-scene and the aesthetics of composing a beautiful film frame. Um, they also learn screenplay writing using industry standard format. Um, we learn countless college level fin film concepts, including uh, temporal ellipses, temporal expansion, the Kuleshov effect, cross-cutting, intercutting, cutaways, montage, and advanced editing techniques in Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, color correction, and keyframing. And all of these concepts are applied through amazing projects, including much more elaborate narrative films. We dive into the three-act play structure and enhance our storytelling skills. We produce also junior year personal and professional documentaries. As a matter of fact, countless of the documentaries produced by our students were screened at the Tribeca Film Festival. Yes, the Tribeca Film Festival. Junior year also includes a higher level of production quality bringing in the Zoom H4n digital audio recorder, wireless microphones, and stabilizers. And did I mention that junior year is also where the internships really get rolling because students at this point already have a substantial amount of knowledge and skill. By the time they've completed junior year, students have at least five additional films in their portfolio that they have produced from start to finish. Here is a sample of an aesthetic film. It was produced in the beginning of junior year in order to help students master the DSLR camera and advanced aesthetic techniques. The prompt for this particular project was to take a mundane activity, but to film it in such a way that you can take your eyes off of the screen because every single shot is so beautiful. Notice how every aesthetic aspect is taken into consideration by the students. The framing, the lighting, the color, the depth of field, and so much more. Here it is. Just a quick aside, remember how I mentioned that the theoretical concepts are baked into the project? Well, for those of you thinking you just watched the making of a paper airplane, you may be surprised to hear that that was only one tenth of the making of a paper airplane. The filmmaker applied a technique called temporal ellipsis in their editing to make it look like you're watching the making of a paper airplane. You think you saw the whole thing, but in actuality, they cut out certain shots. It takes 10 times as long to actually make that paper airplane. The theoretical concept of temporal ellipsis was applied in the project so the student really masters the technique and never forgets the content. Everything is project-based.
Senior year is where students can really fly. With 10 films at this point under their belt, the students begin senior year by creating parodies with a social message, and then they move into creating their senior film reel and Vimeo pages in preparation for the application to college. Then they get to really shine with independent filmmaking, where they really take hold of the reins. They also engage in advanced film analysis, including an entire unit on Hitchcock's masterpiece Vertigo, and they participate in advanced industry projects and internships coordinated through our incredible internship department. Here is a very short independent senior film. This student decided to go back to the public service announcement project, which as you remember, that's a sophomore project, but this senior decided he's going to incorporate all of the skills and theoretical knowledge that he acquired over the past three years and then put it all into this 30 second public service announcement that he produced entirely on his own. You have three old messages. Hey Robert, you forgot your coat and your cigarettes are in there. Hey, it's your neighbor calling. Next time you, next time you smoke in the house, can you open a window? Hello, this is Dr. Allen calling. I have your lung x-rays. Please call me back immediately. It's urgent. Thank you. And here is a picture of the student receiving his $8,000 check from Disney. He got to keep all the money himself. Students graduating from our program have been accepted into some of the finest film programs, including USC, NYU Tisch, Emory, SUNY Purchase, and countless more. And many students have also found ways to earn income while still in high school as video editors and freelance filmmakers after school and on weekends. As you all know, New York has a multi-billion dollar film industry, and the High School of Art and Design is producing the future filmmaking leaders of America. I hope you consider joining our program. Please see our website, artanddesignhs.org, for audition dates and portfolio requirements. And that's a wrap.